Hey everyone, I'm back again. This is my third Halloween DIY. Super easy, quick, fun, cheap. Massively cheap. And it's so easy to do. So you just have to trust me on that one. If you'd like to see how I made these skull candle holders, let's go. Everything you need to make these skull candelabras is right here. So I have got four skulls from the pound shop. Pound land, in fact. Um, one pound each. I've got my chalk spray paint, my blackboard chalk spray paint. I've got silver acrylic paint. I've got my two bases, which are just side plates, really old side plates that I was going to donate, but I'm keeping now. I've got my lids um, to hold the candles at the top of the head. I've got two of those from jars. And I've got some fake candles. And of course, I've got the glue gun. You will need quite a bit of glue for this one. But that is it. That is everything you'll need to make these candelabras. So the first step for this is to stick the first skull onto the plate, which is going to be my base. So you want a generous amount of glue on the bottom of the plate, making sure that that skull is not moving. So you put your first skull wherever you want it. Make sure it's central to your base. Whatever you're using as your base, I'm holding it down. That's quite central and steady. The next skull going on top. It's up to you where you place your second skull. I'm going to have mine just slightly looking off. So the last step in the construction is to place the top. That's going to hold the candle. So I'm going to place it around about here and hope I get it as flat as I can. Check it out from different angles just to make sure it's flat, as flat as you can get it. Okay, happy with that. So that is the first one made. You wanna go ahead and as it dries, just with your hot glue, go in the crevices, just to make sure that is never moving. And that's it, we're gonna make another one of those and then we're gonna take them outside to spray them. Okay, so that is it, that is the construction. Done, all done, so, so simple. Now it's time to spray. So I'm going to take these outside and I'm going to give them a coat of my Rust-Oleum chalk paint, but by all means use whatever color you wish. So there they are sprayed. This one looks really matte. This one looks almost shiny. I'm not sure why or how that happened. It's the same spray paint, but we're gonna go ahead now and just highlight the faces on the skulls. And I am using um, some silver acrylic paint and a dish sponge. So I'm going to put some paint onto the tin foil and almost like my Halloween bottles, if you, if you did check those out, similar sort of process really. You wanna coat the sponge in the silver, but you know, you don't wanna saturate the sponge. So there's the paint on the sponge and you just want to dab lightly and bring out, let me see if I can get this as close as I can to the camera in the middle. You just want to bring out any details on the face without going, you know, too much. You don't, you don't want to saturate it. It was so simple and straightforward. I hope you agree. The last thing left to do is to add any details you want. You can go crazy with crystals in the eyes or anything like that, but I like quite simple. I might add these spiders. I just don't know where to add them. I've already highlighted them a little bit with the silver. I don't know, you know? I don't know whether to have one on the side of the... I might put one here. But in true Claire style, I'm just going to go with it. So I'm just going to dab some glue on the back of the spider and I think, I think, <laughs> I think here on this one, this is optional. You do not have to add details. You do not have to add spiders. 
entirely up to you. And this one, I don't know whether in the same place or maybe. Yeah, okay, look. See, I'm back to the symmetrical. That's it, last step, absolute last step. My LED, <laughs> my LEDs aren't working, classy. So I'm just gonna place them on here so you can see what they look like. I've only got one that works. So let's see, is that in shot? No, let's move the camera. And that is the finished product with the candles on. So I just have to, you know, get the batteries for those and it will be all okay. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you see how easy this was. Get out there, get your glue guns out, go, go, go.